welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jessica, the Friday Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here. And while we're here, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join Pet Parent Nation. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. As long as you click the bell, you gotta click the bell too, but go ahead and click that subscribe button. In this video, we're gonna be talking about just spending 15 minutes a day training indoors with your dog. I know a lot of people right now are not able to get outside enough with their dog, depending on your living situation. We're all in self-isolation in our homes. It's a really strange time, and our dogs need plenty of physical and mental exercise every day. And while we want to give our dogs a lot of physical exercise, especially if we have a young adolescent dog, they, they all need the they all need physical exercise. But one thing a lot of people really miss out on is that mental exercise. So let's take take 15 minutes a day, spend with your dog training. That way we're working their brain. Working their brain actually helps them release energy a lot more than physical exercise. Of course, like I said, every dog needs both physical and mental exercise. So today in this video, I'm just taking a few random objects around my house and I wanna encourage you to do the same thing. We're just going to get our dogs to touch and interact with random objects and we're gonna reward for that. We're shaping behaviors in our dogs. And really all I really want you to to understand from this video is that when we ask something new of our dogs, they have to think about it. They have to process it. And you're gonna see Kim do that in just a minute. They have to process what you're asking of them. And using that mental energy is really going to help wear your dog out, which is what we want, right? A, a tired dog is a happy dog. So one thing I do wanna tell you really quick before I start pulling out, I just have a couple of items that I picked out from around the house that we're gonna work with with Kim. So you can just pick almost any item around your house. Make sure it's not something that's too difficult for your dog. I mean, you know, if you have a small dog, don't get something like this tall and expect them to jump over it, right? Like be realistic about what you're using, but grab any kind of item around your house, we can work with it. And uh, one other thing that you can work with inside of your house, and I'm gonna insert some footage here of me and Kim, and I honestly don't do this enough with Kim, but now that we're home a lot more, I can do it a lot more with her. We wanna practice with our dog walking beside us. And this is going to help so much with when you're walking your dog outside on a leash. It all begins in the home. So I want you to see what I'm doing here with walking Kim and I'm just rewarding her for being by my side and keeping up with me. And doing this inside of your house before you go outside and expecting your dog to walk by your side outside, we wanna, we wanna build this in our dog's brain before we take it outside. And do remember guys, that dogs are very situational. So everything that you practice with your dog, move to different rooms of your house and practice it. And understand that when you move outside with it, you are gonna have to still practice it with your dog because while they understand what you want in the living room, they don't necessarily understand that you also want that same behavior outside. So. And that's why starting with it indoors is going to be so much easier to work with outdoors once you get to that point. So let's start with, I'm going to start with something really easy for Kim, I think, because she's already pretty used to blankets. But I got just a folded up blanket here and I want her to interact with it. I just want her to put, I want her to put two paws on the blanket. So I want to show her whoop, that I do have a reward for her. and. Yes, good job. When she gets two paws on the blanket, I'm gonna reward that. Yes, good job. So this is something pretty easy for Kim to do. She's very familiar with blankets. We have lots of blankets around the home. She's not scared of blankets. And that's a good thing. Oh, look at that. Are you gonna lay pretty? You good girl. Yes, you good girl. So not something really difficult, but I'm kind of getting her used to the idea of I'm asking her for something. She may not quite understand yet that I'm asking her to put two paws on this blanket, but that's exactly what she's doing. So when we move on to something a little bit more difficult, something that she hasn't interacted with before in our home, it's going to make it a little bit easy, easier for her brain to process what I'm wanting her to do. So now I'm gonna switch this out because she's got this down. She understands, she likes blankets, she loves blankets, she knows that she's comfortable on a blanket and she's really not used to being rewarded for being on a blanket because they're all over our house. So I'm gonna switch to something else, okay? Can I take this? Come on, I'm just gonna move you off. Yes, good job, good job. So I'm gonna grab a book. Now a book is something that Kim has not interacted with before. So I'm gonna place a book down here and I'm just going to ask her to 
Pass. And it's okay if it takes them a little bit of time to figure out what you're asking for. Let them process it. Don't ask them over and over and over again. Let them process what you're asking for because this is what is working your dog's brain and this is what's gonna help tire them out. So let them process it. Let them take their time and process what you're asking of them. She's so polite, she doesn't she want to step so on anything. She is so polite. she doesn't like to touch things that she doesn't think she's supposed to be touching I we literally can put things down on the ground and she will not mess with them she is an incredibly polite dog so this was a lot for her to do but she did it and she got rewarded for it and this is going to make doing things like this a lot easier with other objects so now that we've got her to do the book which you can continue working with the same object if your dog is having trouble with it and that's going to continue to work her brain but i'm going to find something that's maybe a little in between so i've got this pillow which may seem a little bit more like a blanket to her i'm not sure let's see how it goes but i want to see if i can get her paws yes good job good job okay Oh, we had one paw. We want two paws. Yes! Good job, baby! Good job! So the whole key here is just getting your dog, let them figure out what it is you're wanting of them, and then reward for that. Good job, baby. All right, so I've got one more item over here that I want to try with Kim. And we've actually been working with her a little bit on this already because... We have these little recordable buzzers, which is a whole other video. Um, this one is programmed to say outside, and when you hit it, it says outside, but I'm not gonna hit it during this video because I don't want to let her outside right now. I wanna do this video for you guys. So, But I want her to get used to touching the cardboard. So what I wanna do here is get her on one side of the cardboard, me on the other side. Okay, pause. Yes, good job, good job. She's starting to understand the word pause. Yes, that's my good girl. That is my good girl. And I want to reward, as long as her two paws are staying on the cardboard, I want to reward her. I mean, we're not going to let this go on forever, obviously, but she's actually standing on the cardboard on her own. Yes, good job. So this is going to actually help uh, me with getting her to use the buzzer as well because she is more used to standing on the cardboard. And I had to build up to this. I felt like the cardboard was actually gonna be the hardest for her. It seems like the book was hardest for her. Good job, monkey. Okay, good job. You can go, come on. Good girl, good girl. So it seems like the book was the hardest for her, but 
really just take like 15 minutes a day and do little exercises like this with your dog. You can also do other fun things and take their food out of the bowl and play with their food and use your, their food in different ways so that mealtime is more engaging and more entertaining as well. But the idea here, guys, is to just 15 minutes a day, work your dog's brain and we're also training at the same time, right? I just, I started training her a new word. She doesn't know what pause means, but now she's starting to learn that I want her to put two paws on something. So we're training, we're working, we're shaping behaviors in our dogs, and we're letting them use their brain, which is going to wear them out so much quicker than physical exercise will actually do with your dog. So again, just to reiterate, your dog needs both physical and mental exercise, but that mental exercise is something that is really going to be key for our dogs, especially when we're trapped indoors like we are right now. So with that video, with that guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, but I really wanna thank you for being here and I want to know, I wanna know, put in the comments below, let me know some objects around your house that you're gonna try this um, touch training with your dog. And when you do, take pictures, take video, and tag me on Insta. I wanna see you doing this and shaping these behaviors with your dog. It doesn't take a long time to do. I have never done any of these exercises with Kim. So literally real life right now on to you, on, TV on YouTube, I shared with you just how I did it, exactly how I did it with Kim. And we have never done these exercises before, but they're super fun and they're going to help you and your dog so much. But don't forget, take pictures, take video, tag me on Insta. I'll reshare whatever you tag me in, in my stories, because I want to see you working with your dogs. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join Pet Parent Nation and hit the subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you feel so inclined, please click the like button and I will see you in our next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.